There are a couple other Jewish things that I was going to mention. One of them had to do with Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong was born in 1901, huh? August of 1901, in New Orleans, right off of Canal Street in downtown, the Central Business District. And when he was about four or five years old, he began to hang around with a family with five boys, some of them roughly his age. The Karnofskys were a Jewish immigrant family from Eastern Europe. And they, the father had a rag cart, which he used to drive through the city. And he gave Louis a job on his truck with the other boys. Louis could have a whistle and blow on the whistle whenever the rag truck was going through neighborhoods so people would know the rag truck was coming through. It was Louis's first instrument. Following that, uh, a year or two after that episode uh, when it started, uh, Louis saw a trumpet or a bugle, whatever it was, uh, sitting in a pawn shop window. It's for sale for $12. Louis did not have $12, so Mr. Karnofsky made a deal with him. He'd buy him the trumpet if Louis would then continue to ride on the rag truck for one more year or so, which he did. Louis's first trumpet. Uh, this is not in his autobiography that was published, but it is in Louis Armstrong's autobiography that's now at Queens College. And he, he recalls the Karnofsky family with great pleasure and says in that autobiography, the second autobiography, unpublished one, <clears throat> that he still has matzah in his kitchen because he learned to eat Jewish food at the Karnofskys and he loves Jewish food. Somebody told me recently who knew Louis Armstrong that he always wore a mug and David around his neck. And he got that from the Karnofskys, I assume and that he had a mezuzah on his door, again from the Karnofskys. Karnofskys were a tremendous warm influence in his life.